Gated. We had some big time women's soccer here in the Springs today. The number one team in the country, the UCCS women's soccer team, hosting the RMAC Tournament Championship this afternoon to Mountain Line Stadium. We go UCCS undefeated on the year, looking for revenge against Colorado School of Mines. It is the Oil Diggers beat UCCS last year in the RMAC Championship, and this one was what was on the line right there, that RMAC trophy. We start in the 20th minute mark in the first half, a very controversial, controversial play. Tanner Saunders with a goal shot on goal off the crossbar, then out according to the head referee. No good and no replay, but you be the judge. Did that go in? Nevertheless, it wouldn't matter because Mines would get on the board first. Cheney Brugman gets a great pass, but might be offside. Doesn't matter. She finishes in the back of the net for the first goal of the game. one nothing Mines. Four minutes later, another controversial call. A foul called on Caitlin Esterly, and it's in the box. Esterly would leave the game on this play, and it's most likely she's lost for the season. So on the PK, Elliot Edwards going to take care of business here to give Mines the 2 nothing lead. Then right before half, UCCS trying to get back into it. It's Shannon Mooney showing why She's the Armac goalie of the year. Check this out. Not one, not two, but three saves, and she would pitch a shutout this afternoon as Mines hands UCCS their first loss in the year and win the Armac tournament two to nothing. But for the Mountain Lions, they believe the refs changed the outcome of this game. Unfortunately, I think major refereeing decisions um, decided the outcome of that match. Disappointing to have lost two finals in the last two years, which I think were, you know, came down to two huge refereeing decisions today and, and one last year. Um, and I think the AMAC has to look really hard at, at increasing the level of refereeing in this conference. Yeah, I think that it lights a little bit of a fire in us. And I think that although we are a young team, we do have a lot of experience as well and a lot of fire in us. So I think that with this loss that we can just go into NCAA tournament ready to go, ready to take on anyone we face. 